He come all the way from California, star for attention. So let's give it up for J. First off, first off, I told that fat bastard I wasn't funny. <laughs> anyway, he, told, he said, well, you gotta get up here and do it anyway. But no, I, uh, I just flew in from, uh, just flew in from California, and uh, this mic's not working. Just, hey, hey, hold the bottom of it. Uh, oh, okay, it's Otterville microphone. <laughs> Sorry, sorry about that. A Steven Spielberg production, along with Walter Entertainment, starring Samuel L. Jackson, along with Arnold Schwarzenegger, two men, two guns, and one tent in Brokeback Mountain 2, Urban Assault. This time, it's for real. <laughs> Someone will get plugged. Butt plug, that is. And I hope they burn in hell. <laughs> I always like those movie voices. Uh, no, oh, Audible Mike, sorry. Um, no, I, uh, I, I like dating. I, I, I hate being single. I've been, I've been married, I've been single, and both sides of the river are muddy. And I really don't like it. But no, over in California, I've been on a couple of dates. I dated this one Indian chick, uh, you know, the kind of the dot, not the feather. And, um, you know, she was real cool. You know, one thing led to another. And, I'm laying there next to her in bed, and I roll over, and I ever so gently touch that little red dot on her forehead. Next thing I hear is, that was easy. <laughs> Apparently she worked at Staples, and I didn't know that. You know, and, and girls are so weird nowadays. They like you to do weird shit. Like this one girl, she liked me to wear Old Spice on my balls. So I didn't have any Old Spice, so I used Stetson and some Worcestershire sauce. No, I told that joke back in California. Made a chick laugh so hard she had her period. No, that's, uh, that's funny shit. That's, that's when you know you're funny. No, I like dating. I went to this one chick. She took me to this, um, it was a gay picnic. And it was kind of cool, you know, but out in Sacramento, everybody's, I think pretty much everybody's gay in California, but um, I went out there and we went to this gay picnic and it was all cool, everything was good, but you know, the, all the wieners taste like poo. That wasn't cool. You guys like cops? The episode cops are cops. Oh. That's something I love to watch. I love that shit. I was watching this episode of Tased and Confused. And it was all about tasers. And these guys were just getting the shit shocked out with tasers all the time. Just constantly being shocked with tasers. And I instantly it hit me like a ton of bricks. Why, if a 250 pound man can be dropped by a taser, so can a deer. <laughs> so, I want to make my own hunting show using a taser. And it'll start out and be like, shh, Bill, it's about 6.30 in the morning. We got some dough and eat lure out there. I've seen a couple of does, but shh, here it comes, here it comes. He's about 15 yards out. I'm going to go ahead and take him. <laughs> Bill, hit him in the head, Bill. Hit him in the head. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and shoot him one more time, Bill. Hit him harder! Hit him hard! Hit him hard! You know what? That be some shit. Just, what, if, what if you, uh, you know, what if you went like squirrel hunting with a taser? Wouldn't that be some shit? See about a little, little squirrel. It'd be just a big brown fluffy ball flopping around the ground. Be some crazy shit. Let's go one up. Let's go one up than that. Let's really get in there and use pepper spray. If pepper spray can drop a 250 pound man, why can't pepper spray drop a deer? Try that one. You get out there and spill. We're going to go ahead and take this deer right here. I'm going to go ahead and spray him. <laughs> oh! No wind come back in your face and shit. You know, you would be running around. Bill, I can't see shit. Hit him. Hit him. I'm going to go ahead and tase him. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't see shit. <laughs> No, I love they My mom and dad's out in the audience tonight. I love messing with my mom and dad. They're, they're great people. I love them to death. But I love messing with them. And they're starting to get to that age where you can start jacking with them a little more. Like, like I like to I like to randomly send them nursing home brochures. And, and when they show up, they're like, well, where'd this come from? Like, well, this is a nice place, Mom. It's really great. No, I love them. Yeah, I love my mom and dad to death. But um, I don't know. 
I, the, the, out in California, homeless people, that's the biggest thing. I, I'm getting used to all the homeless people. There's a ton of them out there. And they're constantly moving back and forth, and we deal with a lot of them. And in fact, one day I squished one of those bastards. I was out there, and I, right behind uh, where I work at, we got these two dumpsters. And we always like to have the dumpsters nice and neat and straightened up. Well, I just had straightened them, and I walked back inside, come back out, and one of the dumpsters had cocked sideways. And I thought, man, I want to, you know, I got pissed. So I ran up here, and I just jumped up and kicked that dumpster into the next dumpster. Well, all of a sudden, oh, 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 oh all of a sudden, this guy comes out and he's pulling his pants up. And he's like, oh! And I heard him. I heard him bad. I squished him with a dumpster, man. He come out and he had his pants around his ankles and he was hurt. And I was like, you need to get on out of here. And he's like, oh, you hurt me. I'm like, wait, who, why are you pooing behind a dumpster? I don't like that pooing behind dumpsters. That's not cool. But you know, homeless people too. And I also had a there's a there's a guy that runs around Sacramento. He's like the Steve Irwin of homeless people. And it's cool because what he does is he's got a film crew with him and he like sneaks around alleyways and he'll like, oh crikey, we got a big one here. And he just runs and jumps on the homeless dude and then duct tapes him up and measures him and shit. And he like checks his teeth, he's like, by this one here, it looks like we got an old one here, you know? And I'm like, oh, that's horrible. That's sick. That's sick. But no, uh, I'm Catholic. I am Catholic. I'm trying to do the Catholic thing. And yeah, out here, it seems like everybody's so into the, the, the Catholics or so, you know, the Catholic priests, you know, and the boys, and that weird shit. And, that. and, I, and out in California, it's so much more different. Everybody's more relaxed. Like, I even see my priest the other day walking by smoking a pipe. And his shirt said, my other pipe is your son's penis. And they're just like, they're, like they're, they're cool with that shit, I guess, out there in California. Man. I don't know. They're, they're cool with that shit.